Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's August 21st, 2018. I'm out by the uh, chicken coop area. And uh, yesterday and today, I decided to try and do some repair work on the, uh, the soil erosion and exposure to more sand and gravel that lead into Pond 5. Um, you may recall from previous video, uh, after uh, digging the, uh, the drainage swale going from uh, the northwestern part of the property, going around uh, the work area, chicken coop, and uh, avoiding the area where the Gothic high tunnel will ultimately go. And I directed it here into Pond 5 so that when we have a good downpour, that water will help to refill this, especially during our droughts and all. And after digging that out, I didn't have a chance to compact it, and, uh, and we got about three inches, of, well, we got about 2.66 inches of rain that came down pretty suddenly, and it, and it eroded a tremendous area here going into Pond 5 where I'm standing now. Yesterday, Bud from uh, the tree service dropped off a load of uh, stump grinding. So that's dirt and decomposed uh, stump mixed together. So there's quite, quite a bit of dirt, some rocks, some roots and all. And so I decided to use that. So I went ahead, brought the excavator down here, Bumblebee, went ahead and packed that in really, really well into the areas that were very, very eroded. Uh, if I had clay, I'd use clay. If I had more paper and cardboard, I'd be light using that as well. But I didn't have those things. Then after uh, getting that material I, it, uh, packed down into the area that was eroded, the next thing I did do was take the, uh, uh, the excavator, Bumblebee, and uh, Optimus Prime, the front end loader, and go around to the big stone pile and go to the area that we have big flat rocks. I'm going to walk down this this spillway here. So the goals are, number one, seal the area back there that was eroded. Number two, uh, try and uh, pacify the water and allow uh, sediment to work its way in between the rocks and further seal this area. And then ultimately get some, uh, some foliage to grow, both aquatic down below and some uh, terrestrial plants up above, up there as well. Now it's just starting to rain now, so I'm stopping for right now. I may come back to it if, if, the, if the rain lets up. And what I'll do is I'll put more rocks, put another layer. But the top layer up there is about five foot thick of, uh, of mostly round stones. On the very bottom down here, I used some big flat stones that I was gonna use for another water feature, but I placed those on top of the uh, the patch material, the, the stump grindings. And then I started working my way up tier by tier. So what will follow will be a little bit of GoPro footage, slow motion, or time lapse rather, of me uh, putting this up last night and then starting again today and getting it up to this point uh, so far. So uh, the stones will help to uh, distribute, uh, spread out the water as it comes through about a six foot path. So when we have those torrential downpours or the big uh, spring rainfalls with the snow melts, a lot of water is going to come down this way. So what I've got to do is make sure that, the, that it's like a strainer in a sink. Put lots and lots of rocks in there so the rocks aren't going to move and the sealant below it and then sediment can ultimately start getting caught between the rocks. Uh, foliage or plant material can start growing in between those rocks as well in the future. So. That's it for right now. We'll see how this works. If you thought this video was of value, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, ask questions, and certainly folks hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when we make more videos or when we post more videos. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye now.